moment from this week where I came really close to adding mental over my partner. Childhood vaccination edition from your favorite invisible labor educator. This past week at daycare, there was a COVID outbreak. Alyssa was in Boston, which she isn't usually in Boston, but she was that day. Went to message daycare on the Brightwheel app that we communicate with them through. And I thought to myself, what information do I actually need to communicate here? And my first thought was, okay, I should probably double check when the last vaccination was that she had. I'm pretty sure she got a booster a couple of months ago. I'm trying to remember when it was. First knee jerk thought, let's text Alyssa. She'll remember that. Slightly evolved man child version of that. Wait a second, I know we have medical records somewhere. Where are they? And then I remembered we also have an application that I have access to all that information. It took me a couple minutes. I realized I had not been logged into that for a while, so I had to like reset my password, etc. Took me a little while to navigate and find what I needed to find, but I found it. When we're asking our partners things that we know how to answer, we're creating mental load and decision fatigue. Whenever we can be using structures that already exist in our home that hold information, scheduling, planning, medical data, as equal partners, we need to be able to navigate those things. Hi, my name's Zach, I'm a recovering man child. Hi, Zach. Guys, if this is something you're working on in your relationship, having awareness of these moments, changing your behavior, that's exactly what I do with the guys in my men's mental load mastery program. Book a relationship goals consult if you wanna see if you might be a good fit.